Hi, it's Nell with Joyous Garden. And I've been doing a lot of decorating videos and crafting videos, and we've been doing some houseplant ones, posting those, and it's been a while since I've done a video in my own garden. I just wanted to show you my coleus dipped in wine. It is now, I believe, six years old. And in my blog post, I said that in, in the previous post, which I will leave the link to down below, I said that I normally remove the flowers because they take a lot of energy out of the plant and they are like extremely attractive because they're so small and spiky. They're not bad though. But I have left them this year because we here in California, we're in an exceptional drought and there's just not quite as much blooming for the hummingbirds for their food. And there is a hummingbird that comes to this plant every morning, twice, comes two times. And I have a five-year-old cat, Riley, who just loves to watch the hummingbirds. He's both my cats are house cats, but the dining room window is right there. So he can sit and he can watch the hummingbird. And the hummingbird loves to interact with the cats. You know how they are. Tease, tease, tease. So uh, they have a good time in the morning. But how I would normally cut these back is I just go in and I take off a snip of the new growth too. And that's how I cut them off. Sometimes I'll take off more if I want it to be um, a little bit more compact, but I just kind of let this one go because it's in the front here and it adds that nice burgundy foliage that I love that I have going throughout my garden. And what I will do in probably about two months in mid-December is I will cut this coleus back I usually cook it back to about here and I thin it down too and I take cuttings which I root in water in my utility room and I put them in other parts of my garden. I have another big pot of this coleus in my middle garden and then I give the other cuttings away to my friends. And this is the burrow's tail. I did a, a video on that too, how, uh, all about my burrow's tail and I propagate it and actually flowered this year. And it's starting to get kind of thick again, so I'm gonna take some more cuttings because it's really thinned out. It, it is also, I mean, um, it's, it's really grown, it's really thinned out. I am gonna thin it out. It's gotten kind of um, thick again, so I wanna thin it out a bit, especially the this underneath, it kind of gets all heavy. But um, I have this in other parts of my garden and in a pot, and again, I give that away too because that's the beauty of succulents. So that's what's going on with my coleus and that's why I am letting it flower and I just wanted to uh, tell you all about that and I'm going to be doing a few more videos in my garden this morning so be sure to stay tuned for those and I thank you so much for watching.